You will not ever understand why God does the things he does. You will never understand why God designed things the way he did, why he made your life the way it is, why he puts us into different situations, right? Whether good or bad. And ultimately, we don't ever understand God's actions and motives. But one thing we do understand is that we can trust him, right? We can truly trust God with every single walk of our life, right? There is so much uncertainty in life, right? But we have to understand through the, uh, the uncertainties of life, we have to understand that God's going to constantly always be with us, constantly always want to guide us in the right path and constantly always watch over us. I'm gonna read Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse one. And I want you to really listen to these verses, right? It's called the uncertainties of life. Send your grain across the seas. And in time, profits will flow back to you. But divide your investments among many places, for you do not know what risks might lie ahead. When clouds are heavy, the rains come down. Whether a tree falls north or south, it stays where it falls. Farmers who wait for perfect weather never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. Verse five, just as you cannot understand the path of the wind or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother's womb. So you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. Plant your seed in the morning and keep busy all afternoon. For you don't know, for you don't know if profit will come from one activity or another, or maybe both. When I read these verses, one thing comes to mind. There is never a perfect situation or even an imperfect situation to where God cannot work, right? Or you have to be prepared for blessings to flow. But preparation comes with uncertainty, right? You know those people that played the lottery, right? And they got lucky and they won. But they, in the, in the back of their minds, a lot of them didn't come with confidence thinking that they were gonna win the lottery. They had, they just, you know, some of them were blessed and some of them got lucky. And then some, you know, them going into that lottery, they're like, man, I ain't gonna win, I'm just gonna play, right? Or you plant a seed in the winter, right? And you expect it to grow. You water it, you flourish it, and you expect to get a bunch of sunlight when in reality, it's gonna be super duper cold, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. And you know, how are you supposed to expect a plant and a harvest to grow in the winter, right? But you know what's crazy? A plant can still flourish and sprout in times of, you know, uncertainty, right? Even in the worst circumstances, any plant can sprout. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. God can take you from a bad situation, an uncertain situation that you are going to going through, and he will allow you to elevate and sprout into, you know, go towards success, right? He's going to lead you to success. He can take your uncertainty whether it's in your mind or it's your situation, and he can sprout you, right? When I when I look back at these verses, it says, farmers who wait for per perfect weather never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest, right? So think of this. If a farmer waited for the perfect moment, right? How, how, how will the groundwork, the groundwork is already laid. How will the farmer, you know, make up in his mind that yes, you know, this is the perfect weather. You know what I'm saying? This is the perfect temperature, this is the perfect soil, this is the perfect situation, this is the perfect amount of water, we have the right amount of sunlight, you know? And it's not too, it's not cold, it's not too, it is, see that's the thing. There's a lot of plants that are planted at different seasons, right? God may be trying to plant you in a season where it may not be the most perfect season. And then once it's not the most perfect season, he can use you in that non-perfect, imperfect season, and he can prepare you for it season of harvesting right what i'm trying to tell you is look bro harvesting and and, and 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 trusting god is going to be super important at every single walk and every single season of your life because it is going to be an up and downhill battle constantly right and you're going to be not only fighting yourself but your faith and your belief in god right there is no question that people deal with you know uncertainty right whether it's relationships right they're going to be like man i'm you know maybe i'm you know, just, you know, someone you're talking to, right? You like them so much, whatever the case may be. They have all the intangibles that you like, right? You like, you see something in this in this part, right? But at the same time, 
you know, it may not be the right timing in your mind. But at the same time, God might be like, this is your person, even in the worst of times, even in the imperfect season, even when you're busy, this is the person that, you know, he's blessing you with, right? There are different situations. Everybody's situation is different, right? There's some people who, you know, aren't in the right space mentally. And they think, you know, when they're given this opportunity, this new job opportunity, you know, from a job that they're already working or a project that they're already working on, that, you know, this job needs to be delayed because, you know, oh, it's not the season for me. It's not the season for me. Like, this is not my season for growth. No, every single season is for growth. You just have to take the imperfections and make them perfections, right? Because no situation is ever going to be perfect. That's one of the things I, I, I learned and that's, you know, really encouraged me that there would never ever be a perfect situation. So me taking that, I know going to every situation, I can look at the good right in it rather than the bad because there's always going to be bad, right? And then that bad is going to overclock, overcloak, you know, the positivity in that. So whenever you're out here and you're, you know, getting blessed for opportunities, whether that's to talk to people, you know, your community, I don't know, opportunities in the workplace, um, I don't know, new car, whatever, whatever it is, there's never going to be a perfect situation to where everything is just going to work out. There's never going to be a perfect situation where everything just clicks, right? There's always going to be something that's off. And then that one thing that's off could, it, it could literally drag you away from that. And that's just, like, that's like relationships. Relationships are never perfect, right? Even if we're talking romantic, romantically or friendships, like they're never going to be perfect. You have to realize that you have to take the flaws the good and the bad, right? That's why in a lot of relationships you see people say, you know, I don't see your flaws. No, there's always gonna be flaws in people and in relationships, but you have to you have to learn what, you know, the imperfections are and the perfections are, and then you have to enhance the imperfections. But I'll leave you with this. And I'll read you, I'll read you this last part of verse six again. And you know, this is something I have, I have highlighted. For you don't know if profit will come from one activity or another, or maybe both. You don't know. So the Lord could bless you with no profit. The Lord could bless you with profit from one one crop, or the or the Lord could bless you with a with a profit from both crops, right? But see, that's where that faith comes in. That's where that belief comes in, and that's where you know you have to learn to realize that like you have to be patient, right? You have to be patient. You just don't know. So the uncertainties of life are all around us. It's a constant whirlwind of uncertainty, uncertainty. But that's why we have to continuously trust in God's plan. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all learned something. If you want to read more about this, read Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verses 1 through 6. That's what I read in this video. I'm pretty sure there's more verses about, you know, the uncertainties of life. But share this video with somebody that may need it. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Join the Discord link in the description. Thank you for watching. As always, God bless.